Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. I want to share with you a marketing trick that the pharmaceutical companies do to name their drugs to make you believe that uh, they're important or you might want to buy them more by the way that they put the names together. So the trick is, there's two of them, is you use letters that aren't commonly used in the English language, so X, V, and Z. The other trick is to put I and O together. So it's best if they're next to each other, but if they're separated by a few other letters, that's fine too. So let me give you some examples of this. So these, I, I kind of clumped them together. These are for the stomach. We got Nexium with the X. Prilosec has an I and O here, and then Meprazole has a Z in it. So here we have uh, three medications for the lungs. They all have the letter V, Ventolin. And Ventolin actually has the O and the I here. There's Advair and Spiriva. Here we have two medications for diabetes. We got Genuvia with the V and the Metformin has the O and the I there. These are psychiatric medications. Prozac, Lexapro, and Zoloft. They got Z, X, and Z. Here are more psychiatric medications, three of them. Trazodone with a Z. Xanax has two X's. Now we're getting really fancy. And Zyprexa has a Z and an X. Now we're getting really fancy. Okay, so we got drugs for the heart. And cholesterol, we got Lipitor, it's got I and O. It's actually got two I's and an O. Atorvastatin's got the V there. And there's an O there and an I o all the way over there. And then Xarelto, that's a new blood thinning medication. When I say new, it's a few years old. It starts off with an X. So I put down here amoxicillin. There's a lot of antibiotics with the, that follow this, uh, these rules. And then Viagra, can't forget that one. And the granddaddy of them all is Viox, V-I-O-X-X. -X. So it, it's, it's named really well, but unfortunately it's very poisonous and it's killed at least 50,000 people causing heart attacks. It's used for pain and it may have killed 100,000 people, but nobody really knows and nobody went to jail for it. So that's, the grand, that's why I call it the granddaddy of them all. It's the, one of the most deadly medications and it's really well worded. Okay, and then the last thing I want to uh, tell you is that there's a medication that sort of started off the whole psychiatric uh, marketing scheme uh, many decades ago. I think it was in the 1950s. It could have been, uh, could have been the 60s. And the name of the medication is called Milltown. And that's a really stupid name. And you might be thinking Millhouse or, or Millberry. No, no, it's called Milltown. And it, the target market for this was uh, suburban white housewives. And the Rolling Stones actually uh, created a song based on Milltown. And you may have heard this song before, but it's called Mother's Little Helper. Okay, so I'm just giving you um, a little history here about uh, the naming of medications. And below is a link that goes through some of the more popular medications, even going back to the late 1800s. So you can click on that link and see drug ads and, and see how they're trying to market to you. So um, I just wanted to share this with you because I thought it was interesting. And the more you know, the smarter you are, the better you can take control of your health. So if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe.